this is something that Bluter knows. And I would rather get her than to get the coach from the sun because the coach from the sun coached DJ Nate Carrington. Did she have an issue with her stabbing Kaylin in the eye? Right? Did she? Because if she did, she didn't do anything to address it because it continued. In every single game I watched, DJ Nate Carrington and Kaylin kept getting into it. Every game. Carrington did something. You didn't fix it. And now you want to go over there and coach the fever? Because you got ties with them. You took them to a championship game. You didn't win. <laughs> you didn't win. I don't want you. <laughs> hey, yo, what up? It's your boy Chocolate with the sexy body. Look, I just wanted to stop by real quick to say there's about to be a lot of shakeup within the WNBA, but with the FIBA in particular, right? I always gave Naisa a hard time about her getting into her head with other players, uh, with her girlfriend, not knowing who to choose, either her or her team. I just gave her a lot of shit. I even put a video out talking about um, she was ready to go. Her time is up. She put a tweet out that said it, like it was fun while it lasted, right? But in all honesty, I got to keep it real. After speaking to one of my uh, commenters this morning, my subscribers, um, I like Nyssa Smith. I really don't have no problem with her. My, my problem is that she's inconsistent. She's inconsistent, and she lets other players get in her head, and she kept choosing Dijanae over her team. Look, that woman's going to be your girlfriend, your, your fiancé, your wife, whatever she's going to be forever if y'all choose to have it happen. But you do not let relationships come between you and your job. You don't let that come between you and your work. And that is what I saw out there with Naisa Smith. So what I need to see next, I need to see a coach come in who can control all this nonsense. Right? I, will it be Bluter? Right? Will it be White? Me, uh, I would love to see Bluter, if I'm pronouncing her name correctly. I would love to see her because I want somebody from outside of the WNBA, somebody who's not been influenced by that league. I want somebody who hasn't been touched, contaminated by the WNBA because it is a cancer that you guys are seeing right now being cleaned out. And in order to get rid of a cancer, you have to get rid of all of it. Every person, everyone who was against this movement, right? They have to be shuffled around. They need some type of re look. If you look, if you don't want to get rid of them, move them around. Period. Move them to other teams. Do something because this new crowd of people that you got coming to the games, they want to see CC play. And outside of seeing CC play, they want to see good basketball. They don't want to see the nonsense out there. So all of this has to get cleaned up, and that is what you see happening right now. And you see it happening with the fever first. Imagine having a superstar team like they had, guys. They had a superstar team, literally. They had three All-Stars on their team. Naisa Smith was a, a first-round pick like two years ago. They have a really good team, but they had a really sucky coach. Coach Saz was terrible. I don't care what none of y'all say. There's no way in hell this team should have only won 20 games with the way that they played on the back end. That's how they should have been playing in the beginning if Coach Saz was a good coach. Coaches bring the best out of their players. She would have knew exactly what to do with Caitlin and how to address the situation with Kelsey when she's like, okay, listen, Kelsey, I'm sorry. I know this was your team last year. I know you was the leading scorer. Everything flowed through you. But if we want to make this thing work with our new prize possession, we're going to have to run through her. This is something that Bluter knows. And I would rather get her than to get the coach from the sun. Because the coach from the Sun coached DJ Nate Carrington. Did she have an issue with her stabbing Kaylin in the eye? Did she have an issue with how Aaliyah Thompson and how them body her? How she gets slammed? Right? Did she? Because if she did, she didn't do anything to address it because it continued. In every single game I watched, DJ Nate Carrington and Kaylin kept getting into it. Every game, character did something. You didn't fix it. And now you want to go over there and coach the fever? 
Because you got ties with them. You took them to a championship game. You didn't win. <laughs> you didn't win. I don't want you. I believe that Caitlyn can win with Blutter. And they should have won in the NC2A. But since they did it, this is where they're going to get their chance. This is where it happens. Where, where it's going to count the most because it's going to be the thing that you remember now because it's happening right now. You have watched Caitlyn grow. And now you get to watch her expand on the grand stage with her former coach that they went all the way twice. They went all the way twice. They just got into a, a, a buzzsaw matchup with LSU and with South Carolina. But they made it all the way there, guys. You don't think this coach could come in and take this team to a championship? When this team, right, listen to what I'm going to tell y'all right now. As far as it having great players on it, and you can't touch those great players and move them to other teams. You can't touch Kelsey. You can't touch Boston. You can't touch Caitlin. Now, who are the other three? I had said Timmy, Dantas, and Lexi. But now I'm going to say Lexi and Smith. Those two for sure. It's a toss-up between Dantas and Timmy. Because if you get the right coach up in there, I'm telling y'all guys, Naisa Smith was averaging nine rebounds a game last season. Double-digit points last season. All those numbers dropped. They dropped because of the coach not knowing what to do with this player bringing in Kayla Clark. They figured out everything for everybody else. They figured out that Kelsey has to play off ball. They figured that Boston gets the ball down in the paint. If not, use that damn pick and roll. That shit worked. And Boston got to work on her jumper. Now, Smith, where do you fit? I tell you where you fit, Smith. Crash in the glass. Offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds. I need you on blocks. I need your defense. You're going to get your points. But you need to work on your primary skill set. That's going to be your defense. That team can change, and it is changing. The W is changing, guys. I'm telling you. The W is changing. Kaitlyn Clark brought in 14,000 more fans to these games. These games are only averaging five and 6,000 people at them. And Kaitlyn Clark was averaging 17 to 20,000 people a game. Two million viewers at home watching this, world, this girl play. You don't think that the W should start catering to those new fans? Because the old fans are going to stay. And, and, and you're going to get to reap the benefits of everything that these new people are bringing in. You finally have a great sport that people want to watch. Don't mess this up. Don't mess it up. The opportunity is now, WNBA. Take it. I thank y'all guys for tuning in to your boy in this quick little session I had with y'all. I appreciate y'all. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you're a part of Chocolatey Crew, hit that like button. Hit the notification bell. So you know when your boy drop videos and live streams. Appreciate y'all for chilling with me. Man, happy October. Hope y'all doing great this week. Peace.